did you know that there are 8,760 hours in a year and on average we spend 1,920 of those at work for around 38 years of our lives? If we're going to be spending that much of our life working, it stands to reason that we want that time to count. We want it to be fulfilling and to be time well spent. But for many of us, finding meaningful work can be tough. In fact, according to SEEK, 75% of Australians are actively looking for work or monitoring the job market, and 70% of us want to work in an industry different to the one that we're currently in. And why? Well, if we're committing such a huge chunk of our lives to work, we want more than just a job with a paycheck. We want that perfect mix of an industry that we're passionate about, a company that we believe in and whose values mirror our own, an employer who motivates us and challenges us, and a job with tasks that make us feel accomplished. And that's not easy to find. So imagine if there was an algorithm or a formula to help determine the perfect job for you. Imagine if those jobs were presented to you as they became available, rather than you having to find them. Imagine if information about the company that you were considering working for next was readily available online. Inside information, such as their staff turnover levels or independent forecasts into their stability as an employer moving into the future. Once employed, imagine if information or your feedback could be provided on a real-time basis regarding the company that you were working for. And finally, imagine if that promotion that you apply for in the future is awarded based on data, rather than a manager's gut feel or someone else's tenure with the company. This will soon be a reality, thanks to what we call big data. Now, I first learned about big data through my work. I'm the manager of a software company, and we build recruitment technology that helps employers to hire fantastic staff. And I'm very excited about the ways that big data is going to change recruitment moving into the future. It's going to make recruitment more objective, and it also has the potential to open up opportunities to the job seeker and the employee. Today, I'd like to open up your thinking as to how big data can be used to help you find meaningful work, ensure your ongoing professional satisfaction, and grow your career. Now, if anyone out there is wondering what big data is, you may have heard about it. It can be a bit of a buzzword. But the way that I like to think of it is it's huge amounts of information available to us as a result of online business occurring 24-7, news and media going digital, the explosion of social networks, and the connected universe that we now live in. As a result, there's been an explosion of information, and this is creating insights that didn't exist before. We've also experienced improvements in technology to understand all of the data that's available to us. If anyone out there is worried, what big data is not is your boss spying on what you're doing on Facebook. So we've got huge amounts of information available to us, improvements in technology to understand that information, and as a result, we're able to create profiles on individuals, companies, industry, and society. Let's think about some real-life current examples. Netflix monitors which movies and TV shows we watch and then recommends what we might like to watch in the future. Expedia takes note every time we book a hotel, and Expedia's algorithm will use this information to make educated guesses as to our age, how much money we earn, and then next time we visit the site, it recommends hotels to us, which improves our buying experience. And it's not just the recreational. Big data is also being used to create more effective communication, transportation, and healthcare systems. In Africa and around the world, the mobile phone location data helped to track population movements, which assisted in monitoring the spread of the Ebola virus. So these are examples of how organizations and companies are using big data to profile us. And increasingly, we're also starting to harness big data at the individual level to profile ourselves. Think about devices like the Fitbit, monitoring how far we walk in a day, how many calories we consume, 
Personally, I can set goals, I can track how closely I'm achieving them, and I can upload my data and compare it to the data of people all around the world. So organizations are using big data to profile us. We're using big data increasingly to profile ourselves. But what I'm really looking forward to are the ways that big data is going to improve recruitment, talent management, and the workplace. Today, we're going to talk about how big data will help you find the perfect job, ensure your career satisfaction, and gain access to new and varied opportunities. So first of all, let's consider how big data is going to help you find the right job, or more accurately, help the right job to find you. The job website or job board of the future will examine all of your internet or digital activity to look for patterns that suggest what type of work you would enjoy, what you might dislike in a job, even whether you're open to being approached for new opportunities in the first place. Maybe you subscribe to uh, certain blogs, or you register online for a TEDx event like this one. Maybe you share articles on news websites or Facebook or LinkedIn. All of this activity is creating data, and the job website of the future will use this data to create your profile, and then it will feed you jobs that it thinks you would be interested in, and it will use your ongoing feedback to fine-tune. Now, of course, the perfect job actually doesn't mean anything if it's with a company or an employer that you don't believe in. Right now, there is certain information that we could find out about a prospective employer online. We might have a look at their website. We can Google them to see if there are any mentions of the company in the media. But imagine if you had inside information into things like their staff turnover levels, maybe their employee satisfaction rate, independent assessments of that company's successes, its failures, how likely it's going to be a stable employer moving into the future. Now, we're heading down this path thanks to websites like Glassdoor, which is kind of like a TripAdvisor, but instead of rating a restaurant, you might rate your interview experience or an employer that you work for. But with more information being made available and improvements in the technology to understand it, this is only going to become more comprehensive and more accessible. So big data has helped you find the right job with the right company. But the next question is, if we're going to be spending 40 years of our life at work, how can big data be used to ensure that that time is satisfying? It's often said that people don't leave companies, they leave managers, or they leave because they're not engaged. And the chief cause of disengagement in the workplace is the inability to openly express how you feel about management decisions and or the lack of follow through when you do provide feedback. The workplace of the future will provide employees with the tools and technology they need to provide real time feedback anonymously. This is going to empower the employee and it will allow management or leadership teams to understand what's working within the workplace, what's not working, They'll be able to understand where there are problems and fix them, or maybe even prevent them from occurring in the first place. And it also empowers the employee to shape a workplace culture that they're happy to be a part of. Big data has helped us find the right job with the right company, and it's also ensured that we're satisfied during our working career. So finally, let's explore how big data is going to help us gain access to new and varied career opportunities. Traditionally, promotions have been awarded based on experience or tenure, or maybe the relationship between the manager and the, and the employee, and not always awarded to the person who's going to do the best job. The speed at which new data is being gathered and analysed means that employers are better able to understand the characteristics of the high performers and then use this for their recruitment and their talent management practices. This has the potential to open up opportunities to people who previously would not have been considered. There's a great case study to be found in Xerox. Xerox is one of the world's largest companies with about 200,000 staff across 180 countries. And they employ tens of thousands of call center workers in the United States alone. Xerox had a real problem when it came to retention. 
They just couldn't get their staff to stay. Their old way of recruitment involved receiving applications, looking at people's resumes, and giving priority to the people who had prior experience in a similar role. Essentially, if you didn't have call centre experience, you weren't likely to gain an interview with Xerox. But as I said, they did have a problem with retention, so they decided to try something new, and they took a big data approach. They examined the data of the successful employees who stayed, did well in the role, were retained, and they compared it to the data of those who did not work out in the job and did not stay with the company. And the findings were really, really interesting. Some of them were kind of quirky. For example, Xerox discovered that for this type of role, with this company, employees who had one or two active social networks were more likely to succeed than employees with three or more. But other findings were fundamental. Namely, they discovered that having experience in a previous role had no bearing on whether or not you were going to succeed with this company. So armed with this information, they developed a screening test and all applicant data was compared to the profile of the ideal candidate. No longer were people turned away simply because they didn't have experience. And as a result of implementing this big data strategy, Xerox improved their retention by more than 20%. So imagine this kind of approach being applied to promotional decisions. Those really subjective appraisals will be made more accurate thanks to objective data. And this has the potential and will open up opportunities to people who previously would not have been given a chance. There's no denying that finding and keeping that somewhat elusive combination of a job with tasks that motivate us, for an employer who challenges us, with a company that we believe in, in an industry we're passionate about, can be pretty tough. But big data is increasingly on hand to help us. We just need to understand how to use that information to our advantage. If we're going to be spending nearly 2,000 hours a year at work, I want to leave you today with four key strategies for how you can use big data now and into the future to ensure that this significant portion of your life is meaningful. Consider your digital footprint. Is it an accurate representation of you? Are you building it to ensure that it displays a rich and compelling version of yourself? After all, if the right jobs are going to find you, you need to be able to be found in the first place. Make sure you have a profile on LinkedIn and with the major job websites and fill them with relevant information and keywords so that employers who are tapping into these massive databases can send targeted jobs your way. Follow companies, causes and people that you believe in. Share information that you find interesting. Who knows, you may even become a thought leader in your own niche. Be honest and fair, both in terms of how you portray yourself and in your feedback on others. If you are going to leave a review on a site like Glassdoor, make sure it's accurate, balanced and constructive. Sometimes these sites can be skewed towards the negative feedback, so if you have something positive to say, take the time to do so. Think of it as a pay it forward scenario. The more information on an employer, the more useful it will be to prospective employees. If you're already within the workplace or next time you take on your new role, advocate the use of big data within your organisation. There is a range of free and simple resources available to help companies mine big data, measure staff satisfaction and profile the characteristics of high-performing high employees. Advocate the use of these tools to management, or if you're in a decision-making role yourself, consider trialling some of them in order to foster staff satisfaction and retention. No matter what stage of your career, or what type of work you enjoy, what industry you're drawn to, even how career-motivated you are, don't be afraid of big data. This is a fast-growing and exciting space, so continue to educate yourselves on how you can use big data to find the perfect job, remain satisfied during that time, and ensure that those 1,920 hours a year of your life are as fulfilling as possible. <laughs>